Before I get started, I am not encouraging anyone to go after these people. I repeat, don't do it. Let Papa Jesse handle it. That's a sentence I will never utter again in my life. Okay, maybe a few more times. Take a tree. Straight to the point. I love it. I did it, guys. I am now a certified bigot. Get out the chip and dip because it's time to celebrate. Title of this Reddit post is... Can we hire Jayshaw Games, a thumbnail designer? Appreciate the offer, but no thanks. I like being a one-man operation. I literally just thought the thumbnail design was hilariously awful. This shit got recommended to me. Can you believe it? The comment on the bottom of that one, emotional drifter thing, is actually me, guys. I tried going undercover as someone else to see if this individual could tell me why I'm a bigot. And no answer. What a surprise. If I ever do get a response, I doubt it will be a valid one. Anyways, about my thumbnail. You're judging the video based off its thumbnail? Who's the bigot now? I am fully aware my thumbnails, this one included, are not the best of the best. I'm like Jimmy from 8 Mile. I'll make fun of myself so you won't be able to. I don't care about making my thumbnails the best of the best. My goal is making a thumbnail that is good enough. Judging by the hundreds of views and far more positive than negative feedback I've received, it has served its intended purpose. Thank you kindly, by the way, guys. I really appreciate the support. Don't know who it is? Don't care either. And yet, you cared enough to comment. Ironic. The people who supposedly care the least are the ones who factually care the most. Does this guy think that Sonic is anti-woke? As far as I know, Sonic has never been political. It's not about being anti-woke. It's about not injecting your real-life politics into a fictional world, regardless of where your political allegiances lie. I don't consider myself an SJW or anti-SJW as they are two sides of the same coin. A coin I refuse to be on altogether. I will only call out something for being woke when it's actually present. An anti-SJW YouTuber accused Tears of the Kingdom of being woke. As someone who sunk 70 hours into the game, I can confidently say it isn't. I think there are good and bad people on the left and right. So, I think it's unfair to judge someone solely based off their political allegiances. But you judge people based off their appearance all the time! True. However, the difference being those people I judge are legitimate bullies who have no problem judging others based off of their appearance. Especially when it's attractive women. Because they would know nothing about being attractive on the account of being remarkably unattractive. Wait till he sees the new remastered game named Sonic X. Shadow Generations! Excuse me? Are you implying that I won't like the game because Shadow is black? RACIST! Even though I'm not the biggest Sonic the Hedgehog fan, I do think Shadow is a pretty badass character. So, I don't know why you think that would offend me. Quite the contrary, actually. Sonic Generations Remastered featuring Gay Sex from Scott Pilgrim Series. Because he messed up the word Sonic, so I just figured I'd roll with it. Like, it just made sense that this person would talk like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, you're implying that Sonic will be having sex with Scott Pilgrim? That is some bestiality furry shit right there. You're sick. I do think a Sonic and Scott Pilgrim crossover would be really cool, though. Bye. Do I hate when they make Indiana Jones woke and ruined by having a sassy female lead alongside Andy? Sadly, even though he's joking or she, I don't know. This is an incredibly accurate statement. I can always focus my time on games made by indie and Asian developers who are immune to the woke virus. I know some of them have taken a turn to the dark side. No, that's more like Bane. But I firmly believe there will always be people out there, developers included, who will stand against activists. The reason why I make these videos pointing out the woke shit is to make people laugh and spread awareness. Most importantly, I want them to know they're not the only ones who are tired of this activist drivel being rammed in their faces. Okay, so at the end of the day, Reddit is a cesspool of degeneracy. This is why these individuals slither into Reddit's filthy butt crack to express their opinions. If they talk like this on YouTube, then they would be verbally shredded a brand new asshole, and they know it. Their idea of a bigot isn't even a bigot at all. It is just someone who disagrees with them. Truth is, they're the real bigots. Either they didn't watch my video, which is the most likely possibility, or, even if they did, that last one might have. 
The information went straight through one ear and out the other. Here's the truth. I will never hate someone solely because of their gender, race, or sexuality. If someone actually hates someone else solely for those reasons, then that's obviously messed up. And Sean Connery does not approve, bitch. I know I talk a lot of shit. With all jokes aside, despite disagreeing with these individuals, I respect their opinions and their right to have them. All I'm saying is I am also allowed to have mine. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean I can't feel the way I do. People like this hate me, yet none of you can provide a proper counter-argument. Because deep, 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 deep down, they know that I'm right. Now, am I saying that I can do no wrong? Of course not. I'm not perfect. I'm flawed, just like the rest of you. After all, I am also human, believe it or not. If I make a real mistake, then I will gladly admit it. In this case, though, I won't admit to making a mistake when one wasn't made. Okay, this was actually a lot of fun to make. Let's do it again sometime, eh? All right, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. For those of you who haven't yet, be sure to rate, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe. Or I'll get a seal to bitch slap you.